goat milk is often viewed as an ethical alternative to cow's milk. However, footage taken at a farm belonging to the most prominent goat milk company in the UK, St. Helens, shows a very different reality to the one given to us by goat farmers. Our happy goats provide us with great tasting milk. The footage sent to search by investigators showcases the reality of what is happening to goats every single day. Like dairy cows and humans, goats first need to become pregnant in order to produce milk. However, when the goat is given birth, the farmers will separate the newborn kids from their mothers so that the mother's milk can be taken for human consumption. This separation, in the exact same way as in the cow milk industry, causes the mothers and kids emotional and psychological distress. The kids then have their ears tacked, often being held up by their necks. The kids that don't then leave the chute are either picked up and thrown out or have their tails twisted, causing them to scream in pain until they comply with the farmers. In the UK, it is estimated that around 50,000 dairy goat kids are slaughtered annually at a young age, the majority of these being male, as they will be of no use to the goat milk industry. The other males who will not be slaughtered will be raised for meat. Tail twisting, physical aggression, and rough handling was documented as being standard practice on this goat farm, with farmers regularly holding the goats by their necks or twisting their tails until they cry out in pain, throwing them around and even hitting them. Farmers were also documented pulling the goats by their ears. Forcing them onto a conveyor belt or slamming them down on their backs. Once on the conveyor belt, the goats have their hooves trimmed, a procedure that takes place because the goats have farmed indoors their whole lives, meaning their hooves do not wear down naturally as they would for goats who live in the wild. Due to the fast-paced and careless handling, goats were frequently hurt by the procedure and cried out in pain. <laughs> Some goats were also seen struggling to stand after they had been removed from the conveyor belt. Lateness and physical discomfort was also documented on the farm with goats struggling to stand or walk. As is standard on animal farms, dead and dying animals could be seen lying around the farm. In this clip, a farmer picks up a couple of dead kids and throws them over a metal gate onto another dead goat, creating a heap of dead bodies. The footage also shows a worker restraining several goats, holding them down so they are unable to get away, as another person appears to inject them with a chemical euthanasia. Their bodies going limp as they died. They then appear to poke their eyes to make sure they are dead, before then dragging their bodies by the legs. It is also worth stating again that St. Helens is the most prominent and well-known goat milk company in the UK, and their products are stocked in major supermarkets. They are regarded as being the best of the best when it comes to goat farming, but as you can see from this footage, that means nothing for the animals. Goats are sensitive, curious, and gentle animals. However, the animal farming industries treat them as commodities that they can exploit for profit. These sentient, feeling beings are reduced to milk machines whose worth is solely dependent on how much money they can make for the farmer. St. Helens claim on their website that the milk is a reward for looking after the goats. Milk is a reward for looking after the goats. And that their staff have a genuine interest and love of the animal's character, which they claim is evident in their attitude and relationship with the goats. But it is obvious that the opposite is true. These goats were exploited and beaten, their milk taken from them at the consequence of separating them from their families and causing them physical and emotional pain. They are thrown around, dragged, and when they're no longer producing enough milk to be considered profitable, they're killed, either on the farm or in a slaughterhouse. However, we have the power to make this suffering end, so please, choose the plant-based alternative instead and live vegan.